Hello? Hello? Put it out. There's a dude here. <clears throat> hey, Sooth Dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Is Espanol a pretty woman? It was very spiritual, like waves. Absolutely. But remember, this radio station could disappear. The voice of unprofitable radio could be silenced. One day you wake up, roll over, and she's gone. You go into the kitchen, there's a note scrawled, the sound of a taxi leaving in the distance, a thunderstorm rolls in. It's a metaphor for my haircut or this pledge drive. Yes, the pledge drive. Become a member. Only members or people with radios can listen to this radio station. Now back to pressing issues. Shouldn't we give out the phone number? Like I tell the children at the library I volunteer at, look it up yourself. No, you can't go to the bathroom and stop crying. That's good advice. Now, back to pressing issues. Welcome back to pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic, John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid, Karen Brayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman, Alex Trump. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the yes? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Yes. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope. A dream of a better tomorrow. By encouraging people to grow their own root vegetables. What's the satisfaction of holding a gun in your hand when you could be holding a hoe, planting seeds in a peasant village? Keep your hoes and seeds to yourself. We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself, and I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms at, and arm bears at all points in between. And who ever heard of a gun or a bear causing problems? This is all cocky pop, or whatever that word is. It keeps the place safe. Trouble is caused by unemployment, and unemployment comes from poor economic performance and lazy people. If you had a job, would you steal it? Of course not. And Popping and locking and... It's simple. If you don't have a job, starve. Get out of my constituency. By force if necessary and starve. That is quite simple.